Today I am showcasing some Kiora. Um, so I've been told that there is a ton of Ashiok on the ladder. Um, I haven't been versing it that frequently, at least not any more than, than normal it seems, but um, I've been hearing a lot of Liliana and Ashiok. So I've been wanting to put Kiora on the channel because it had been a little while since I played her. So this isn't like a super competitive uh, version of Kiora by any means, but since there's so much uh, control and um, you know, Liliana's mid range, and there's probably like Domri trying to capitalize on the fact that Ashiok's prevalent, and um, you know, you still have a Johnny's and Vivian's, and mid range is just always going to be a powerful strategy in a game that's so interactive. So, I thought Kiora was a good fit, and then also, um, I wanted to build it to where it didn't suffer so hard against control, so I just threw in a bunch of ward creatures for fun just to annoy my opponent. So, we've got the Circle of the Druid as um, the class card so we can have an early drop consistently heal a couple life um, we can ramp which is what we're trying to do with Kiora and then we have wild shape uh, brontosaurus so we can um, stabilize not die to nightmares as much hopefully um, get outside the reach of burn stuff like that we have the rune shell crab to stop the early aggression. We have the lore keeper to get some value with, from an early blocker. We've got Tusker because it's a stat stick. And then this is where the weird stuff I just felt like playing today came in. Uh, Wilder Waves debut give a friendly creature ward because if your opponent's trying to spot remove you, they can no longer do this. And um, this makes a board stickier and harder to deal with. Same thing with uh, Glade Cover Warden. When you summon a creature, give it ward. So we're just trying to be obnoxious. Uh, Tide Shaper is a body that lets you ramp at the same time. Show game, transform an enemy creature into a stone turtle. So, you know, it deals with uh, relentless creatures very well, as you will see in this video. And then we have Sylvan Shrine, just one of the best ramp cards in the game. Uh, artifact two charges, gain an empty mana gem. Iron Skin Trolls, just another beefy dude with ward, so I'm just trying to annoy the opponent. And drag under, put enemy creature into the top eight cards of your opponent's deck. Also good for dealing with uh, relentless creatures. And then we have Shimmering Komodo. It looks like it's like out of a starter deck. You know, it's like uh, just a vanilla with ward. Um, five, six, six ward. Just again, just a threat. Uh, control can't answer it unless they board wipe you. At least the turn that you play it, and you're just trying to annoy them. Same sort of. Uh, thing here except this is actually a useful creature uh, six drop three five flying ward when it damages your opponent draw a card changes cost to one cure can suffer from uh, not having enough cards he helps with that can block flyers has ward so it's just pretty solid uh, primeval titan since i'm running this kind of like weird ward package um there's i don't have a lot of ramp cards and slamming this guy down just instantly ramps you at least once and then you attack and uh you can just start snowballing the ramping which is really strong and then to uh, Carnage Iron is kind of like the uh, epitome of um, what this deck's trying to do. So it's an 8-drop, 10-8, War Trample can't be countered. You know, it just does Carnage Tyrant things like it does in every game that has that name. And then we have the Crusher Worms as like a nail in the coffin against a lot of decks. And then also, um, since we have Ward creatures, they're like, oh man, I can't deal with this unless I board wipe and then they board wipe and then we just drop Crusher Worms anyway. And that's got to be pretty annoying for the opponent. And then for the land, uh, when I play Cura, I don't like giving up mana gems. I'd much rather sacrifice a draw than a mana gem because I'm trying to get to 10, 15, 20 consistently. And so that's why this is in here. Just adds you a legendary creature, increases your threat density, and like I said, doesn't mess with the amount of mana you gain per turn. Um, like always, I have two games. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and thank you guys for watching. Okay, we've got Liliana. I think we're favored. We just have... Um, both removal spells in the game that deal with relentless creatures very well. Obviously, uh, Turn to Stone is another one that does it very well, but we have, um, what is it, like Castaway or whatever the four drops Cura signature spell is. And we have Shell Game, which is fantastic against Liliana. Um, I mean, I'm not mad at this hand. You know, I want to keep the Crusher Worms, even though it's early, just because um, it's probably going to save me, right? Like, I'm going to play it on that, like, pivotal turn. Hopefully like on turn seven because hopefully I ramp at least twice by then. And having something early and something that's giving ward just seems strong. So not terrible. 
And then also, like I was going to say, if I get the um, the wolf either this turn or next turn, then I still have a curve. So I think Circle the Druid is really strong for um, like solidifying that type of strategy. You know, it's like you will get a ramp card, you will get an early play and some life gain, and then the um, dinosaur is just another way to uh, stabilize. So it's just it's kind of crazy, honestly. Um, so yeah, if he wants to swing, thinking he's going to get things out of my hand. He is more than welcome, and I will definitely trade with both of those. No problem. And my crab will stay around, too, so I doubt he's going to swing and think that's worth it. He might have the captain. Okay, well. Yeah, it's this does not matter. Uh, I was going to say, he might have the captain that gives all the zombies plus one, and then think it's worth it to swing, and I might be able to see that. Uh, so I'm going to do this now because I don't want it to be in my hand so he actually gets value out of that thing. I was kind of hoping it was going to go on the fish just because this is going to get lost next turn. I was hoping we didn't top deck the ramp spell immediately so we weren't forced to do that play. But, I mean, I guess I could have just taken the damage, but that's not something I really want to do. Sure. And next turn I can drop both of these, so... We're in good shape. See what the spell is. <laughs> okay, that could be really funny if my fish evolves into a dragon and we start playing Pokemon in here. Oh man, and this like curves into it, so I might just keep my um, blockers and just see. Keep as many creatures around as possible, I mean, and just get value off of this. Yeah, I'll just ignore that for a couple turns. That's cool. Alright, this is this is a little sad that I just don't have any kind of play. But you know. I don't think it's worth to block yet. I think he's got more powerful things that I want to block. Not just trying to cheese with this. Alright, and now we can block effectively. And as long as Portal doesn't go off, we can just see what we get, right? I am going to swing with the Titan first before I transform though. Um, obviously to get the attack in, and then also, um, I just don't want to miss out on the attack before it transforms and gets summoning sickness, right? Yep. You can do this crap as much as you want. Okay, so now if I swing, I will lose out on a dragon, which is sad. But it is something big enough to actually contest that, so I still think it's proper to swing with this first. And it gives me the foreknowledge of knowing what I'm going to get. Okay. Um, yeah. Lol. Okay. So now he's got big problems. Big flying problems. Okay, that's fine. Now we play Crusher Worms. That's sad. I wanted to get at least like one swing. With all my flyers, but hey. Forces out what it forces out. Oh my gosh, I have this combo now too. So we're gonna do the Crusher Worms. Yeah. Sorry, bro. Jen Snow. <laughs> yep. Yep. Easy. When not really. 
really sure how that got in there. I'm sure at some point it made sense. I, I don't know. Uh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, we got to get through somehow. Okay. And then I'm assuming double block and getting three threes with flying. And then I'm going to drop this to block one of them. And then next turn, um, we're going super face. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so, oh, that looks so cool. All right. And uh, yeah, I'll drop another ward creature. And he's gonna be like, what? I've never seen this being played outside like the first week of the game. So we got the first game, that was really funny, got a lot of bombs in the hand, that was a lot of fun. Okay, so Liliana again, um, not sure this is exactly what I wanted for the video, but um, I've been hearing that there's a lot of Liliana and Ashiok on the ladder, so maybe um, if I win again it might just be a good pick. Um, against Liliana, it's probably not that strong against Ashiok still, even though the ward might give them some problems. But if the if you're seeing a lot of Liliana and Ashiok on the met on the on the ladder, um, Cure seems like a good fit against Liliana at least. And the ward will help you hedge against um, Ashiok almost as much as you possibly could running Cure, right? And a lot of the ward creatures are really cheap. Outside of uh, Carnage Tyrant. Alright, so... <laughs> no one or two drops. I did not draw the wolf in the first two draws. That's a shame. This can get way more value. And now I'm going to draw a wolf. Yep. One turn too late, buddy. I do have two Crusher Worms and two cards to deal with. Thick boys, so there's that. Okay, obviously we're gonna block this so he can stop plussing. Not worried about those guys. Well, that's just too good to pass up, I think. I think Crusher Worms is like one of the only ways out of this. Okay, that's like not good, um, basically. I am gonna heal one of those. Now, as long as my land doesn't go off, I can stabilize, most likely. But we'll see. And if not, at least it'll give me a legendary... Blown out, boys. Yeah, so this seems very anti, like, Ashiok to me. Like, just super fast. Oh, come on, every time. <laughs> Every time I need it. It's ridiculous. I have to do that to, like, not die. Every time, right before 9, my, uh, my land will proc on me. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you proc now. Alright, I might stabilize anyway, but man, just way to make me sweat, you know? Okay, now they're gonna get a zombie and a draw.
Okay. We have Drag Under and um, the Puff Doom to handle this thing. All right, so let's bully him back some. How do I want to do this? I kind of want to do like this. And just tell him if he wants to block, he's got to give up things that matter to him. So let's do it like this. Now, is he just going to take the 12? Okay. He's going to take one of the sixes. He let me board wipe him. Okay, well that's like the dream, right? If he has Lava Axe in his deck as one of the cards, then this dude's just uh, a legend. Now that I've said that, I'm going to Rampant Growth to my Dinosaur as quickly as possible because I'm honestly horrified that he could be splashing Lava Axe. Yeah. Well, I really wish I hadn't had that thought. Now I'm like panicking. I'm not letting you do something stupid to me. I guess I should have done that ahead of time, and then he would have had one less blocker. But the idea of going to two when I know he has Hellrider and then could swing is really scary. Oh god. Dinosaur, 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 dinosaur off the top. Please, 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 please. I mean, he has to block with both things though. 6, 12, 18. Yeah, he's dead. So he has to block with both things anyway. And there's Portal stopping me from getting to the safe guy. It shouldn't super matter though, because he does have to block with both things or he's dead. Yeah. Oh, does he have pep talk and it's going to get sneak anyway? Like it's going to come back? Okay, no pep talk. Woo! Okay. Sick. Alright, well, I apologize that they were both against Liliana. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.